Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video. Uh, sorry for the delay in posting. I'm hoping to be posting here every day again. I just needed a break from that. That was a lot of filming and uploading. Anyhow, uh, we got this here, Craftsman Lawnmower. Um, I did, the first ever video on the channel was this lawnmower. And it's been sitting ever since. And it won't start now. It's got gas in it. So, we're going to have to pull the carburetor off. But first... I'm just going to, uh, I got gas on me here. I'm just going to pop this guy, this cover off here. And then, uh, we'll get in there. This will be part one of four, obviously, by the title and thumbnail. Uh, this is part one. We're just going to dump a little bit of gas in it and call it today's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be pulling the carburetor off. Then the next day's video, we'll be cleaning it. Then we'll do another video on putting it back together. And then we gotta clean it up. Okay, I got a little bit of gas in there now. So I'm gonna back you guys off. A little bit so you don't vibrate to death. But still watch the engine. Let's see if it'll fire over. Yeah, okay, so it just ran the gas that was out of the carburetor, but it won't stay running. So, another really, really short video, but I mean, it is what it is, because I want to do this, and I'll, I'll make a movie out of this, the lawnmower movie, or the lawnmower series movie, but this is a series, part one through four. Uh, there will be a playlist on the channel as well. Obviously, the, it'll be four days until the playlist is made. But, uh, I mean, this was just a kind of, this is kind of like a teaser trailer. But uh, tomorrow's video, you guys stay tuned and we'll be pulling that carburetor gas tank off. Um, and then we'll learn how to use the ultrasonic cleaner. Anyhow, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys like what you see... Hey guys, sorry the camera cut out before I could film the outro. So anyways, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is uh, part two of this Craftsman 5.50 horsepower uh, engine, lawnmower, whatever you want to call it. It's a Briggs & Stratton engine on a Craftsman body. Okay, so as we seen last time, when we put gas in here, the thing started, so that means that our carburetor is gummed up. So we're going to pop this off. There's a bolt here, and then there's two bolts back here. I'm using some big boy tools today. There we go. And that's the tools now here in part two um if you guys are new here i'm cavis from cavis's bicycle and small engine repairs and uh we obviously do bike and small engine repairs on this channel uh yeah so if you guys are anywhere interested in that uh subscribe to see you know uh more entertaining videos and uh yeah Those are, so these bolts over here that I'm taking out are also head bolts. So they got to be torqued. And uh, I, ha I ha have a, uh, a torque wrench that hooks to my drill. So I'll have to do that when we put it back on. Okay, now where did that other bolt go? Right here. Okay. So I got you guys nice and low for this. This is a really good concept. So it should just unhook what's holding it here. Nothing. Okay, let's get let's undo this line here. And it's off. Okay, we're gonna go and uh, call this part two. And then, uh, obviously, part three would be taking this carburetor off. Sorry for the short videos, but, uh, I mean, we get daily uploads, so that's that's good. Uh, we'll look in here. This is your throttle. Um, if 
fuel line and then this runs fuel from the carburetor side so from from there right I can't get my finger high enough but it's in this right here so in here fuel comes out goes into this little black pipe goes into the head here and runs the engine um, again sorry for the short videos uh, if you've seen part one uh, which will be linked at the end of this video so at the I card at the end um, will be part one of this so once I'm all done this series I am going to make a uh, movie on it like it'll be the lawnmower series the movie it'll have its own playlist and uh, the ice auger series has its own playlist go ahead and check out my playlist on my channel obviously this is it for this video uh, because uh, yes one more thing I want to touch on is uh, in the next video you guys are going to meet somebody and uh, his name is Big Red. Uh, you guys have never even heard of him before or seen him on the channel. Well you may have seen a glimpse of him but uh, yeah so be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe and if you turn on the post notifications you'll never miss another video. So I will catch you guys in the next video where we pull this guy apart and this will have its own title uh how to clean a carburetor I'll, I'll do just you know and then uh yeah i will catch you guys in the next video bye Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video, obviously, I'm filming with one hand and doing this with the other. This here is part uh, three of this series. If you guys haven't seen the rest of the series, uh, go check out the playlist. This is the third video of that playlist. Um, yeah, I just put you guys in the stand there so that I can get out these tight, tight screws. Uh, be sure to comment uh, in the comment section uh, and subscribe. Now, when you comment in the comment section, uh, comment saying that you subscribed, and I'm going to try and reply to as many comments as you can. And uh, let's keep respectful comments. I know there's some very perverted comments that were uh, commented recently. Um, let's keep them, you know, PG, because there is, even though it's not made for kids, uh, I don't restrict my videos to just adults only. And I'm sure some of the clickable sites that are being posted in the comments uh, shouldn't be there and are very not nice. Um, yes. That's my bolt holding tray. It's an old frying pan. It works great for keeping the bolts. Anyway, we're going to pop out this screw. This is a primer ball. You can see it works because it's spitting it out the back there. And uh, that's what it does, obviously, in the engine, but the gas must be bad in it. So we'll get it cleaned out and put it in uh, the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, in the last video, I said that you guys were going to meet uh, the ultrasonic, or uh, the Big Red. But I gave it away. It's the ultrasonic cleaner is Big Red. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you've seen it. And I was calling it, you know, making it seem like it was a guy, but it was just the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. So this actually does not look too bad. I'm not sure why this isn't running. I think I'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner just because, but I don't think it needs it. Unless there's water in the fuel. Uh, now the fuel doesn't smell watery. Um, yeah. I'm going to quickly dump this out. Uh, obviously, it'll speed up until I get back, but yeah. Okay, I'm not sure uh, if I sped that out when I edit it. I'll obviously speed that clip up, but uh, yeah. Cleaning this off. It doesn't look too bad, but we'll get it put in the ultrasonic cleaner. We're just going to soak this in there. Um, 
Yeah. So that'll be in part four. We're going to soak it. I'll show you putting it in. We'll soak it and we'll put it together. But that was taking one of these carburetors apart. Now there is more to it. Like you can take... Obviously it's got its own self-idling screw. So it'll be a self-idling... Uh, um, thing here. So when it goes in, it fits in this way. Right? And then there's a gasket that sits down there. That gasket may be bad. Um, obviously here's a gasket here too. You gotta take all the gaskets off. I may have another one of these in my stash here actually. Yeah, anyway, we'll call this a video. If you guys like what you see, make sure, first of all, remind me that that's in there. Second of all, if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss any content. On this channel, we do bicycle and small engine repair. As I said in part two, I'm Cavis from Cavis' Bicycle and Small Engine Repair. For anybody new that's watching, welcome. Um... Hope you guys enjoy the comments, or the content, sorry, not the comments, well, the comments too, but, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to quickly, as I'm talking here, I'm going to take my thumbnail photo, and it is done. Okay, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is uh, part four of this series, uh, the lawnmower series, um, here on YouTube so we'll come over here I know funny jokes was that you guys are gonna meet Big Red um, Big Red is actually you know Big Red um, but yeah so this carburetor here is gonna be in the Varsol tank and this is the Varsol tank and I will run this kind of just on it here and then I just close the lid sorry for the glare come back here I uh, leave it turn on and then I will come back in like 40 minutes to an hour and just let that sit there and vibrate. Um, obviously it wasn't in the water but okay I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Hey guys this is uh, clip 2 of part 4 uh, the last installment. Um, if you haven't seen the rest of the series I have a playlist I'll link it like It'll be like right up there in the corner, like like right there. And uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna film obviously putting this back on the machine because we've learned how to take it off and it's you reverse the same process. So I'm going to set this on here. Okay, these are the gaskets and this is the way it goes like this. Now, I remember saying that um, these here are common. I actually have a bunch of new ones. I'm going to quickly grab one, and we'll put it on there. Uh, let's see if I can find one here. I'm going to shut the camera off and then I will come back when I have one. I know I have a new one somewhere, so I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, how's it going? Obviously this is the other clip. Um, I never did find one of these, but when I do, I'm going to order one and then I will put it on. But uh, for now, i got to finish up this series. Um, this here is your fuel make it happener slash carburetor. And that uh, goes in here. And then this guy goes in here. This all sits down. And then this gets filled full of its screws. Gets tightened down. I'm not going to obviously show um, me putting this back on the mower. There's no point. I, I show taking it off. Um, so. I do want to make sure though that I'm getting these through the gasket holes here. Um, which will be nice if I can. 
you know, I, uh, one thing, you know, I, I recommend everybody doing is, uh, just be kind in these times, you know, I was in town today and I, you know, we witnessed a lot of people, a lot of just yelling and anger, um, in these times and, 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 and let's make it on this channel, let's make it a point to just be kind, even in the comment section, don't be, I, I know I'm going to get flack back for not having one of those on there. It'll run without it. I'm obviously going to put one on there because this is going to be sold and I can't, uh, unless I don't want any customers anymore, I can no, I can, I cannot let this go without putting that on there. I am ordering, I just uh, placed an order for a pack of 50 of them just to have on hand. I did have a bunch. I just got to find them. They're in one of my stashes. And, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, which is the video. And, uh, I got tons of videos coming out. I'm going to be doing a live stream on Saturday. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, watch live. And, uh, welcome to all the new people. And, yeah. Obviously, this, I'm going to throw in a clip at the end uh, of me running the mower but uh, we're going to be nearing the end of the video right here because we have our um, carburetor reattached already um, this here gasket went on here okay I'm going to catch you guys in the running clip I'm just going to quickly slap this back on and uh, I will catch you guys in the next clip and so yeah okay I primed it. Let's see if it'll still go. Okay, it runs. Um, obviously I put mixed gas in it um, because I don't have regular gas and I, uh, I thought that it would just help oil, you know, from sitting. Um, some of you may ask what this knot is for. It was a repair. If you watch the first video on the channel, you'll get it. Um, that'll conclude the series of this uh, Craftsman 5.50 horsepower engine here. Here's the... If you have one of these, you know, 80, 185 cc's. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you click the card that's right about here... You'll be able to watch um, how to do a coil or how does a coil work. Uh, it's kind of interesting. So if you're interested in that, make sure you click here now. Um, yeah, I will be sure to catch you guys in the next video. I know I had loads of fun uh, making this series. I have loads of fun making this whole um, series. Anyhow, I will catch you guys in the next video. We're going to be doing a super cycle bike. But, uh, yeah, bye.